What's going on everyone? <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, today I have an iOS 6 video for you guys. And as you all know, iOS 6 Beta 2 was just released today. And that's what I'm going to be covering in this video. I'm going to be showing the changes and bug fixes that Apple has released in the iOS 6 Beta 2. So let's go ahead and get started. So as you guys can tell, the lock screen looks pretty much the same. And the home screen looks exactly the same. Um, this update only adds slight changes and slight bug fixes. So there's not going to really be any noticeable changes without someone showing you uh, what has changed. <laughs> so, first thing that has changed is the Maps app now renders a lot quicker than it did before. So you can scroll around and the black uh, grid line area fades away much quicker than it used to. So as you guys can tell there, it goes away really fast. And it also grabs your current location much quicker as well. So moving on to the next. Um, the App Store has also gotten a speed update. So when you launch the App Store, you're gonna there's you're gonna notice some definite speed uh, changes. So it's gonna render much quicker. <clears throat> as you guys can tell there, it's kind of loading up fairly quick. Not as quick as the old version of the App Store, but it does pretty good now. You can still um, yeah, it's not fully done loading, but it's still in beta, but. Yeah, it's still, uh, it's a lot quicker than it was on Beta 1. Uh, next, um, this one actually is something that got worse. Um, the iTunes Store actually renders a lot slower in Beta 2 than it did in Beta 1. <coughs> which is kind of odd, I'd say. Let's go to the Music tab. You guys can tell right now it's taking a very, very long time to render the iTunes store. <coughs> and, yeah, it's just really, really slow. And it's, you can't really scroll through any of the albums or anything. And scrolling in it's kind of glitchy. And stuff like that. So, I'd kind of, say, stray away from using the iTunes store in, uh, in Beta 2 until Apple releases their third beta, uh, so this bug can be fixed. So moving on, uh, you now have a Facebook sharing option within YouTube, so when you launch YouTube, <coughs> and when you go on to a video's information, say like this, and when you hit the share button here, uh, you get all the standard options, mail, messages, Twitter, copy and add to favorites, but you now have a Facebook icon, which you did not have in Beta 1. So that's pretty cool. Uh, next, <coughs> uh, this feature is in Reminders. Um, as you guys can tell now, Reminders now gives you a badge app icon, or a badge on the icon on the home screen. Um, and basically what that is, is when you go into the app, it is because of the priority of, or the height of the priority that you have set for the reminder. So when you go into here and you set the priority, say you want it to be a high priority, hit done, done, and then you, you will get a, let me see if I can zoom in onto that, you can get three little explanation marks on the reminder and the uh, checkbox and time will be also in red. And like I was talking about the badge app icon on the home screen, that is for the high priority um, setting. So you can know when the uh, or when you have a very important reminder that has been go going off. <coughs> next, uh, next thing is in notification center. Uh, you guys can tell now, right there, you now have a two time uh, below the current time. So, 
say your reminder or TV show or whatever you have set, <coughs> it says for uh, 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. So, and then this one says 11:30 p.m. to tomorrow, 12 a.m. So, yeah, it gives some pretty cool, much more information on the uh, calendar alert. <coughs> Moving on, uh, this next thing is also a notification center. Uh, the share widget has gotten much quicker uh, when you click on one of the sharing options. So when you say tap to tweet, it brings up the share sheet uh, much quicker than it used to. Same thing with the, whoops, I clicked on the wrong thing. Uh, when tapping to post for Facebook, it renders a lot quicker and brings up the posting sheet, yeah, much, much quicker than it did in beta 1. So that's pretty nice. So you go ahead and clear this notification. Okay. <clears throat> uh, next is in the settings for the notification center. Um, in beta one, when you wanted to manually manage uh, your not where your notifications will end up, say you wanted messages here, uh, when you would hit done and click out and go into the notification center and come back into the settings, this will pro will be jumped up here and say mail will be right there. So that's one bug that has been fixed. So say I'm going to move the share widget above the weather widget. Now when you go into notification center, it is now in the specific location that it was or that you've set it to. Yeah, in beta 1, that was all out of order. It was completely a mess and everything jumped all around and completely went where you did not want it to go. So that's a very nice bug fix that I'm really happy, uh, happy that Apple uh, uh, fixed in this second beta version. Okay, next uh, is a faster rendering weather app. So when you open the weather app, it loads up very, very quickly. And you also get a cool metallic purple when it's nighttime. So it's very nice. Uh, next is another thing in the Maps app. <clears throat> uh, the map option buttons right here have become a darker shade of gray. Uh, it used to be the standard option or gray color as it was in every other iOS uh, version or uh, version of the maps, I should say. So it's pretty good. Um, Next is a slightly darker blue status bar. As you can tell, it's a deeper shade of blue up here at the top. Um, just a slight change, not anything uh, major. Next is in the Photos app. Um, in Beta 1, you ha did not have the option to share via uh, message, uh, but now in beta 2 you can select a photo and bring up the share menu and you get a message icon there which you did not have in beta 2. Even on iPhone you did not have the message icon which was kind of weird but uh, you now have it in beta 2. Uh, next thing is also in the photos app, uh, you now have a consistent plus icon for adding um, new photo albums. Uh, in iOS 5 and, pr or actually, yeah, only in iOS 5, uh, you had to previously hit the edit button to be able to add a new album. But in iOS 6 beta 2, you now get a consistent plus icon, which is pretty nice. Um, the last thing is a new look of the Twitter icon in the sharing menu. So I'm going to go back to the Photos app and click on the share menu. Um, the Twitter icon has gotten slightly different. I don't know if you guys can tell. Yeah, my camera doesn't ever want to focus in on the screen. But you can tell that the little, the little bird inside the application, ha it's kind of arching up a little bit more. Um, but as you can tell on the Twitter app, it's, he, the little bird is not arching his head up as much as it 
is in the share menu. So, uh, actually the last option, or not option, a uh, last uh, little thing that has changed uh, is with the software update. So when you go to a new um, software update, for any new version of iOS 6, this has been added in iOS 6 Beta 2, it wasn't in Beta 1, but in Beta 2, when you update to new versions of iOS 6, the little gears icon that you would normally get up in the uh, top corner here, uh, I'm going to go ahead and, well there will be a cut scene or a video that I'm going to be putting into this video that We'll show you guys the spinning gears icon, but I'm going to go ahead and cut to that now. Okay, as you guys saw, that was the uh, new little spinning gears icon over on the top left corner when updating to a new version of iOS in iOS 6. So, that was the last minor slash major change in iOS 6 Beta 2. So I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this video. So make sure to hit the subscribe button right there. Thumbs up the video. Comment below if you have any questions about the, this new version of iOS 6. Or if you just have any questions of iOS 6, Beta 1, Beta 2, I don't, it doesn't matter. Just comment below with your questions and I will be sure to answer your questions. So, once again, thanks for watching. Peace out.